David uh, R. Sinchev. He, is, he has more than 14 years of experience in investing and operating strategy consulting. He's a regional specialist for LATAM at UNDP's Sustainable Development Impact in, char in charge of rolling out the SDGs investors maps and standards in the region. SDGs investors map, a tool that identifies investment opportunities, areas to achieve the 2030 development needs. Wonderful, I think we all need this kind of tool now. Let us pay attention to David and give him the floor to speak. David, the floor is yours. Thank you very much for the introduction. I'm part of the um, UNDP at the Sustainable Finance Hub. Uh, we are a flagship initiative working to accelerate private sector contributions towards the achievement of the sustainable development goals. Specifically, um, I belong to a team called the ESDG Impact, and we help businesses and investors to embed sustainability at the core of their decisions and direct capital towards it can make the most difference to people and planet. What's the um, motivation for, for working here? Um, at, the, at the left, you can see the picture of any, it could be almost any city in the developing world where you have uh, great buildings, development, economic flourishing at, at one point, and then you have this contrast with uh, suburbs, people living under um, not really good conditions and, and poverty. So the, the motivation is we have lived and we are living um, creating the negative impacts to people and planet. And we have a way uh, or we want to mobilize that global capital that usually is held um, in, in the rich countries, but not where all the people are living. So there's a statistic that says that 20% of the global capital is held in developing countries, although it represents 84% of the world population. So that's the motivation and that's what we strive and that's what we want to work uh, towards, towards achieving. Basically having uh, that people have the opportunity uh, and it is shown that if we find business opportunities that are solving a development issue, 380 million jobs could be created. There are 12 trillion uh, US um, million of opportunities to be open and the opportunity to grow two times, three times over the next 10 to 15 years if we focus on those business opportunities. And that's why we created three lines of work. Uh, we have the UNDP's SDG impact standards that basically are the management standards for enterprises, private equity, bond issuers, and DFIs. We uh, support uh, public and private sector to ena enable the adoption of SDG impact and, uh, and SDG goals. Uh, this is the impact advisory. And we also have the SDG investor maps, which is what we're about to take a look today. And it's basically a market intelligence tool uh, that highlights where SDG priorities meet the government and market opportunity. Uh, and there's a, unif a unification um, of these opportunities for emerging markets. So what are the SDG investor maps? The SDG investor maps have the objective of mobilizing private sector capital uh, for the developing world to create a more equitable and sustainable global community. Basically what, we do, what, what it does is a market intelligence tool that identifies investment themes in emerging markets. We have a significant potential to advance the SDGs uh, where government policy meet the national uh, development needs and investor interest. This is where uh, they unite. This is the SDG investment theme. And we have identified this so far for um, 17 countries around the world. Within, with these maps, we are able to create an investment pipeline, basically help intermediaries 
build an investment pipeline to invest in real projects. Uh, we are able to spot investment needs, uh, identify those investment needs that are aligned with the SDG priorities and spot government uh, and SDG policy needs. Also, where are the white spaces and where uh, is that public policy must work to be able to mobilize private capital towards the SDGs. We have built a, a methodology that we have uh, um, enrolled and we have, we have uh, implemented in, in, in seven countries. And the way it works is basically it first identifies the priority sectors where the national policy meets, uh, meets the SDG needs, the critical subsectors, again, uh, where development needs and policy investment momentum meet. It identifies for every region and country where the priority subregions are in terms of, of geography, where uh, in the country uh, there's a development need, a strong political momentum, but also, um, again, uh, an opportunity to create financial returns. Uh, at the end of, of, of this methodology, we derive with investment opportunity areas, which are impactful business models uh, within priority subsectors and subregions where new capital can facilitate scale, identify these potential white spaces in businesses um, where capital is more most needed. And the way that we have promoted these investment uh, maps is by organizing investor convening meetings to bring investors and, and potentially meet uh, investee companies and towards policy dialogues where we bring the government, the private sector together to discuss how is that um, private capital can be better mobilized towards these projects. Um, and some of the examples or the success cases that we have seen around the world. So for example, in Ghana, uh, a financial intermediary uh, built to create a pipeline. This pipeline was of course aligned with these uh, thematic uh, investment opportunity areas. Um, and we are speaking about a pipeline uh, worth 39 million US, uh, uh, as opposed to, for example, in, in, in Colombia, uh, where we worked with the biggest bank and we identified opportunities where we could, could unlock capital to a specific projects uh, and, and explore a specific deals that were profitable and were uh, aligned with the SDGs or the country's uh, development needs. This is a uh, public um, asset. You're able to take a look at this platform uh, and go to um our our sdg investor platform .org and take a look at the opportunity areas we have uh almost 300 opportunity areas there uh for 17 countries um the each of the opportunity areas um have detailed information regarding market size regarding um investment uh, returns. So you're invited to, to go to, to this website and browse the opportunities yourself. Uh, so just that you get a sense on, on how each of the opportunity areas look like. This is an example uh, from Colombia. The opportunity area is that of off-grid energy distribution, um, renewable source, affordable prepaid electricity distribution two of the grid communities. Basically, they, they work uh, these type of, 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 of companies or, or businesses by installing and distributing and maintaining prepaid solar battery storage kits to homes, schools, hospitals, and businesses through mom and pop shops that sell prepared solar credits. So for all of these type of investment opportunity areas, we have the geography where it makes sense implementing it. Remember that all of them are solving a development need. In this case, this opportunity or this business model is targeting towards um, increasing electricity asset as, uh, access to people in remote areas. Uh, in, in this case, uh, almost 
5% of the population in Colombia do not have access to electricity sources. And also the development need is, is uh, transitioning towards a renewable energy, um, renewable energy matrix. Uh, and in this particular case, there are particular stakeholders that are being benefited uh, and it's aligned with the national uh, energy plan and the national policies. And uh, there's a profitability here that we expect uh, to happen, a, a market size to be captured, a potential return profile within a considerable medium to long-term uh, investment timeframe, and some actors supporting the development of, uh, of this opportunity. So in summary, uh, um, go and check our, our tool and see how you can uh, work together and, and work together with us and perhaps uh, understand what the uh, impact investing ecosystem is for initially these uh, 17 countries. Thank you very much. Wonderful. Working in 70, 17 countries, I mean, it's not a small project also, but having such a, you know, understanding about how you can have social impact with the business. I think it is a great model. And uh, someone one like me would like to understand a little bit more. So maybe David, we will like to get in touch with you, uh, you know, later on. And if there are any questions from the participants, uh, they are going to put them in the chat box and we'll make sure that we'll get back to you. So thank you very much for your presentation. And um, this, was new, this was new to me, whatever you told me was new to me. And more you go globe and you talk about sustainable development goal, obviously you need to have a bigger picture all the time, but at the same time you want to connect locally and that is the key. You act locally, but you be global. So I think that's the whole idea of this summit and that's what we are trying to do at this platform. So thank you again, David, and we'll be in touch with you. Thank you. Thank you.